Welcome to the video from NinjaSlash.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control your uh, smart home devices with Amazon Alexa and your Windows 10 PC. You can control it through your smartphone or through an Alexa device, but you might be at your Windows PC and you want to use that. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. First thing I'd recommend is you, you've got an Alexa set up, up and running, and your smart home de devices connected to it. There's plenty of videos out there, and I've got some on how to do smart plugs for things like lights like this, where you can connect those up. So I'm going to assume that for this case you've set your devices up and you want to control them in Windows 10. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the Windows Store and search for Alexa and then install the app and then launch it. So this is the Alexa app recently updated and this allows you to control everything within your smart home and anything that you could do with a, um, an Alexa like that you can do through here. So the first thing you have to do is sign in um, to your uh, Alexa account like you did on your phone app um, through here. So let's, let me sign in. The first step you've got to do is sign in. So I've just signed in with my user account and agree the conditions. And then you've got the wake word. And the wake word is where, like you do with the normal device, you can say Alexa. And um, I'm going to leave the wake word on. So I'll allow that. So you can, with this, you can do the drop-ins, so you can receive calls, notifications, um, the announcements you can get through your, your PC, and uh, you can do the music player and all everything that you can do through the app, you, which you could do on your phone, you can do through here. I'm going to look at the smart home, but we'll look at the music as well. Um, so I can say, uh, go to the smart home section, and I've already set my Amazon device up, my Alex device up with the smart home devices and I, I, you can do it through here or you could do it um, on, on your phone or whatever so I've already set these up but you can see I've got all my devices in there some are connect connected and some aren't so you can, you can see I can change the color of my lights and um, control my light however I want and this is a Philips Hue uh, bulb that I've got connected here and like I said, I could be a smart plug, uh, so I can control smart plugs, I can control heating, whatever I want, all through here, you touch a button through here, or I can use it through voice as well. So if you don't have one of the Alexa devices uh, connected in the room you're in, this can do the voice input with it. So I can say, so I can say something like, Alexa, turn on desk. Okay. And there you go, I've got that desk a plug called desk that's controlling these lights. Alexa, turn off desk. Okay. There you go. So I can control smart plugs, smart lights through here. There's other things that I can do with it as well. I can do all the things that you would do through one of the little devices. So I can control music playback through here as well. And all the other stuff works. I can detect devices. Any, all the things that you could do through the phone app you can do through here through Windows 10. For a while, Windows 10 app was not up to the same sort of uh, feature levels as the phone, but this is all available now. So, if you've already got um, one of the little devices set up or one of the speakers or whatever, and you've been doing it using your phone, why not get the app installed on your Windows 10 PC and give that a try? Thanks for watching this video. More on the